Hey, I'm Kelsey, creator of the InDesign Field Guide, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to work more efficiently in Adobe InDesign by using the Bookmark tool and the Go To Page tool, AKA the Junk tool. Let's go. These two quick tricks will help you navigate around your document much more efficiently. One is called the Bookmarks tool, and one is called the Go To Page tool, or used to be called the Jump tool, which is way more fun. So sometimes I still call it that. This is a really great tool for larger, longer documents that have a lot of pages and sections, and it starts to waste a lot of time scrolling back and forth between pages. So as an example, I'm gonna show you how this works on the layout of my own book that I self-published a few years ago, shameless plug, called Strong Girl, Brave Girl, available on Amazon. And in this example, we'll create some bookmarks based on my chapters. So my book has about 10 chapters, and rather than scrolling through all the pages to try to get to the chapter I'm looking for, I can just take a few minutes here and set up bookmarks. That will let me jump around a lot faster. So bookmarks are just like they sound. It's a way to mark a page in your document so you can quickly jump back without scrolling. So to set them up, we're gonna go to Window, Interactive, and Bookmarks. That will open this new window. And this is the simplest tool you'll ever use in InDesign. All you do is make sure the page you want to bookmark is highlighted in your pages flyout menu. So this is my introduction page. I'll hit plus sign and that adds a new bookmark to my list and I will name it intro. And it's as easy as that. I'm gonna scroll through my pages and I'm gonna double click on where my first chapter starts right here. Go back to my bookmarks menu, click plus, name this one chapter one. I can scroll down here to where chapter two starts. Do the same thing, add a new bookmark to my list called chapter two. You get the idea, but now if I just go to my bookmarks list and I double click on intro, it jumps me back to the introduction, which is page seven. If I double click on chapter two, it jumps me down to chapter two, which starts on page 41. So you can see this is a much quicker way to navigate through your document. It saves a ton of time with all that scrolling. Now the go to page or the jump tool is similar, but it's just based on page numbers. So this tool is found under the layout menu right here, go to page. But I use the shortcut all the time, which is command J if you're on a Mac or control J if you're on a PC. And that's because this tool again used to be called the jump tool. So that's why it's a J. When you click that or use the shortcut, you just get this tiny little window and you type in the page number that you wanna jump to. Let's say we wanna go all the way to page 200, click OK, and it just flies us right to page 200 in our document. Again, just a super simple and super time-saving way to navigate through your document, especially if you've got hundreds of pages to scroll through. This will just magically take you there. So that's it. Two quick ways to help you navigate through long files more efficiently in Adobe InDesign. If you want more Adobe InDesign training, watch my free workshop where I break down the most popular design apps and programs and show you when it's best to use each one. Psst, you can do way more with InDesign than you've probably realized. Plus, I'll walk through exactly how to design a PDF worksheet and promo graphic from start to finish using only InDesign. Click that first link in the description below to watch the free workshop right now. Go ahead, click it. You know you want to.